let's look at a phenomenon known as the length tension relationship of a sarcomere. When a skeletal muscle fiber contracts, myosin heads attach to actin to form cross bridges. This is followed by the thin filaments sliding over the thick filaments as the heads pull on the actin. This results in sarcomere shortening, creating the tension of the muscle contraction. The cross bridges can only form where thin and thick filaments already overlap. So the length of the sarcomere has a direct influence on the force generated when the sarcomere shortens. This is called the length tension relationship. The ideal length of a sarcomere to produce maximal tension occurs at 80% to 120% of its resting length. At the resting length of the muscle, the maximum amount of cross bridges are able to form. When the sarcomeres are overly contracted, there is a high degree of overlap between the thick and thin filaments, but further muscular contraction is halted by the budding of the myosin filaments against the Z-discs. Tension decreases due to this pause in cross bridge cycling formation. When we increase the muscle length beyond the optimum point, the actin filaments become pulled away from the myosin filaments. There is little interaction between the filaments. Very few cross bridges are able to form and less tension is produced. When the filaments are pulled too far from one another, they no longer are able to interact and cross bridges fail to form at all, resulting in no tension. Thank you.